Okay, everybody, I cannot believe this weekend. It was packed with so many speakers. What is something you're taking away from this weekend? Oh my goodness, the blessings, the, the word, the word of God starting from Thursday night on. Everything was such a blessing. And then our pastor, our bishop rounding up telling us to get a spiritual grip. I'm grabbing, I'm getting my spiritual grip. Hallelujah. Amen, you better preach. Hallelujah, <laughs> thankful, so thankful. God has blessed me, blessed me to be here. Amen. Well, thank you so much for talking to You're us. You're welcome. Got my green. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I have here with us Pastor Harris. Throughout this whole weekend, we've been talking about getting a grip. We've gone to the movies. We've had seminars. We've had preachers, and we've had late night services. What has really stuck with you about getting a grip this weekend? Um, what's really stuck with me is the importance as a pastor for me to teach the truth and really stick with the truth. And, you know, although we have made accommodations throughout the years, we can't modify the Word of God. You know, a lot of times when you're teaching children um, that have special needs, you make accommodations and modifications. Well, with the Word of God, you can't modify it. You know, we can accommodate people with time, with different things, but you have to be, you have to be rooted and grounded in the Word of God in order for people to prosper. So that's what we, you know, that's what's really stuck out with me. I am encouraged, I'm motivated to continue with God and continue doing the work of God, teaching and preaching the unadulterated Word of God. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.
All right, so here with us we have our Minister Dakasha. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So my question for you is, after this weekend, after everything that we've taken in and heard from the pastors and bishops, how do you plan on maintaining your spiritual grip outside of the conference? So outside of the conference, I'm going to dig a little deeper in my Bible, get to know it a little longer, get to pull those words out, and I'm going to fast and pray more than what I've been doing before because to retain that spiritual grip, you kind of have to know that word and you have to be deep and rooted and grounded. It. So that's my plan, and I'm excited about it. All right, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Of course. Praise the Lord. I have here with me Sister and Brother Flood from Open Door Mission True Light Church, and this is their first convocation. So what has really taken you back and really stuck with you over this uh, convocation weekend? Well, unfortunately, we had a shortened stay, so we just came in yesterday evening. Mm -hmm. I have to say that the young lady, uh, Evangelist Anderson, yes. was on fire on yesterday. Fire. He's yes, a lady. lover. And of course, yes. Bishop is always on of fire. Course, of so course. reclaiming the spiritual grip, that's definitely what we're searching for. And um, I just have to say, absolutely, um, you know, the love is there. Yes. Um, as always, um, what else can I say? Just, you know, just the spirit of God is, is here. And that's what I love the most. Amen. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, so here with us this afternoon, we have Deaconess Pat Davis from Abounding Love Church. How are you? I'm fine. Blessed by the best. Amen. So I just wanted to ask you, and this is our last day of convocation, what have you taken away from your experience this weekend? I've taken away that holiness still works. And to get a grip means to hold on to what God has planted in my heart, and the word is still true. Amen. Thank you so much. You. Praise the Lord. I have Pastor Mark right here with us. How has this weekend been? We have been getting a grip all weekend. How have you experienced it? Well, it has been an excellent time here with the gates of heaven. We have truly got a grip on a more spirituality, more love, and more mainly more truth. And so we're just so happy for what the Lord has done and individuals from the pulpit to the door, God has done great things. Amen. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Okay, everyone, I'm standing here with Sister Brittany from Open Door. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Okay, now this weekend has been amazing. Fantastic. Seriously, so many preachers, so many good words. What is something that you're taking away? You know, I'm really holding on to that Friday night message um, about just making sure that you are not fainting and that you are strengthened in the Lord because we are going to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yes, amen. He was amazing. He was so good. <laughs> he got up there and like... It was the word for me. It was what I needed. Yes, amen. Well, thank you for talking to me and I hope you enjoy the rest of convocation. All right, God bless. I'm Reverend C. Hicks. I'm from Open Door Mission True Light Church. Brendan Hicks from Open Door. Alrighty. So in this, our last moment of convocation, I just wanted to ask, what have you taken away from this experience and how will you apply it to the rest of your life? Um, well, I'm taking with me to um, continue to um, be on my knees praying and fasting and to get to know the Lord more and just, you know, go in God's grace and peace and be happy and endure. You didn't ask me. No. <laughs> No, I mean, it's, it's always good to come. It's, it's always fun. It's always enlightening. And, and what I take away from it is, uh, especially from, uh, you know, the, the bishop's message is that, you know, you got to constantly reevaluate your life and how you're living. You, even when you think you're doing good, you got to keep asking yourself, am I doing good according to God's standards? And, you know, keep making adjustments. Amen. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I have here with me Sister Joy. So throughout this whole weekend, we've been talking about getting a grip and really what that means. And we've just had Bishop Davis come up and tell us about getting a grip in these end times. How are you going to carry out getting a grip? Actually, I am just so amazingly grateful for being here today. The whole time I've been here, it's been definitely a blessing interacting with everyone as well as listening to the word. And as for getting a grip, I'm just going to hold on to my, you know, my, my fasting and my praying. It was just reignited into, in me that those things are above important. Sometimes we listen to YouTube videos and things that are not directly connected with the word. But it's the word that gives us strength, and it's the word that gives us power, and it's the word that gives us inner size and helps us to be rejuvenated. And so that's what I am going to do to maintain my grit. 
Amen. Thank you so Amen. much. Thank you so much. So here with us today, we have our Miss Marlene Huff from Ebenezer. How are you today? I'm blessed. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Right. So my question for you is, and this is our last moment of convocation, I just wanted to ask, after all of the sermons that have been preached, how do you, what have you taken away from it this weekend? I'm taking away that God gives us strength and that we need to get our spiritual grip and we need to stand on the word of God for the word is truth. Amen. Okay. Amen. Thank you so much. Oh. I love you. Praise the Lord. I'm here with Brother Faison from Open Door Mission. It has been such a long weekend, action-packed. We've had seminars, we've had movies, we've had speakers, we've had everything going on. What have really has touched you and stuck with you over this weekend? The preaching and teaching of the Word of God. And speakers were saying, like, you know, don't give up. You know, pray for more strength because this is not the time to give up. And then this morning, Bishop Davis talked about the end times. Yeah. They need to, we need to hear more about that because mm -hmm. it is the end times. You look around, I see stuff going on I had never seen before. So my thing is stay with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Don't let the devil deceive you mm -hmm. or get you back out there because the devil is out to steal, kill, and destroy. He's a liar mm -hmm. and the truth is not in them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. All right. That's what I have to say. All right. Preach now. All right. Thank you for your time. All right. So here with us, we have our brother Brandon from Open Door Mission True Light Church. How are you today? I'm doing well. Doing wonderful. Good. So since this is our last co day of convocation, we just wanted to do a little recap. So how are you feeling about all the preachers and all the different sermons that we've been hearing that have ultimately all dwindled down to our um, topic this week about regaining your spiritual grip? Awesome. I mean, I think anything that you needed to find, you can find it on this weekend. We went to a high on Thursday and we stayed there all the way through till Sunday and I had a phenomenal time. I wish you were here. If you weren't, you should have been. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay, so here with us we have our minister, Precious Minds, from Open Door Mission True Light Church. How are you? I'm excellent. Good. So my question for you is, after hearing all of the messages this weekend, how do you plan on maintaining your spiritual grip? Absolutely. I think um, one of the things that I want to do is make sure, especially even as a young minister in the church, is that I stay grounded in the Word of God. It's so easy to, easy to become distracted and to hear all of the di different voices and opinions, but I want to make sure that I stay grounded and that my message doesn't waver, that my mentorship to the people that are under me doesn't waver as it relates to what's true, keeping the truth the truth. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. I have here Elder Thomas and Deaconess Donna from Gates of Heaven. So Bishop Davis just preached a wonderful word about get a grip. What did you take from that? What does it really mean to you? Reclaiming my spiritual grip is, is getting back the basics. You know, I'm, I'm, I love the word and even more so just diving into his word and hearing how the Holy Spirit guides us in his word to teach us. Yeah, there's a lot of distraction these days. She, she hit on that. And this is, this is a moment in time. But, you know, I'm encouraged because this is a time for, for the church to really rise. I'm, I, and I'm looking forward to that in this next year. We as a body of believers and as, as, as the body of Christ in the midst of all of this turmoil, we're going to rise and we're going to reclaim our identity in this country, uh, mainly in the world and as the body of Christ. But I'm excited about it. But that message was so encouraging and, and focusing and just getting recharged and resurging and, uh, and reconnecting and all of that. So it was good stuff. Amen. All right. It's the same exactly what he has said. Yes. Amen. And just to know it's time for us to start reading the word ourselves and yes. not going by listening to what other doctrines are saying. Mm -hmm. So that's basically the same exact what he's saying. Exactly. Just getting my spiritual grit back. Just getting yeah. it back. So, yeah. I concur. That's good stuff. Yes, good stuff. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Okay. So here with us today, we have Millie, Willie Mays from Open Door Mission True Light Church. How are you today? I'm great. Awesome. Good. So in this, our last day of convocation, what did you take away from the sermon that our bishop preached this morning? And keep that spirit going and never, never let yourself be looked down upon and always keep your faith in God. Amen. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. Okay, so I am standing here with Sister Cheryl. How are you today? Great. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So this has been a, a crazy weekend. So many sermons, so many amazing things. What is something that you are taking away? 
First of all, I'm taking away the message that we just received from our prelate, Bishop Maureen Davis, of getting my grip and regaining the faith that we have in God. We are living in the last days, but we must understand that God is still God no matter what comes. Amen. That is so true. Well, thank you for talking to me. Thank you, and you have a blessed day, and thank I'll continue you. enjoying our 62nd annual convocation. Amen. Thank blessed you. Day. So here with us, we have our sister Carrie today. How are you? Oh, I'm blessed today. Good. Real so, good. Real good. Real good. Amen. So my question for you is, how do you plan on maintaining your spiritual grip and applying it to your ministry? Maintaining my spiritual grip, just staying in the word, getting the word, how they've been preaching, how our bishop preached. You've got to stay in that word. You can't get out the word. you got to go in that book. you got to get in that book. That's how I'm going to maintain my spiritual grip. Amen. Thank Amen. you so much. Thank you so much. And it's been a wonderful time. It has. Wonderful time it's here. If you didn't weekend. get here, you missed the treat. You missed Next out. year, work on it. <laughs> Thank you. So here with us, we have our pastor, Daryl Clark. How are you today? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. So my question for you is, from a pastoral standpoint, how will you be maintaining your spiritual grip? I'm going to hold on tighter to the Word of God so that I can empower all of God's children to live a happier, healthier, prosperous, and blessed life. Amen. Amen. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Amen. And just like that, convocation is ending already. I really can't believe it. It feels like we just got here. I was just asking people, what are you expecting from God? And now I'm asking people, what are you taking away? You know, it, it's over. <laughs> but I have been so blessed this convocation. If you have not been to one, you need to come. You're going to be recharged and you are going to get what you need to continue on fighting to keep running the race. Thank you for watching and make sure you like us on Facebook share this video this is gates of heaven assembly of churches holy convocation 62 in 2019 see ya hey, so here with us we have our sister Ariana Knox how are you good wonderful what was your favorite part about convocation um good convocation good convocation beautiful beautiful that's all we need to know amen thank you so much